Hello everyone, you want to learn Python? Then you are at the right place. So let's get started. So first of all, let's download Python. So for downloading Python, I will search at Python and we will see the website of Python that is www.python.org. We will open this website and we will go in there, downloads and then here Python. The version in your PC will be different maybe. If you are watching it in the future then so let's download the Python so I'm using Windows so I'm downloading it for Windows so you will download it for Mac or Linux if you are using that so let's download by clicking here so I am downloading it so you will also download it to run this so let me go to my downloads to install it so here I will install it now so what we have to do here so yes we have to add the path add Python 3.1.0 to path yes and then install now so it will install in a few seconds so python is installing here so it is installed so setup was successful written here so let's close this and see if python is running okay or not so we'll open our command prompt so i will open my command prompt to check python i will type here python and i will do enter so yes it is running okay you can see it here python 3.10.2 version is showing here means python is running okay now i will write here print hello let's see it is running or not so yes it is running so it is running okay so as we had installed the python so we'll go here and see what are the things that are installed with python so I recently added ideally python and python module docs so i will open this ideally python let's open this so you can see it here what is this like integrated development environment so here it is written ideally so you can run your python here also like i will run here the same command that i had run on command prompt hello and i will do enter so it is also print hello so you can also run your python in the ideally shell so now we don't want to run it in ideally we will run it in visual studio code or you can also run it in the python ide famous ide that is pycharm so you can run it on your pycharm also so let me first create a folder so i will create a folder i will write here python programs and now we will start our programs so i will right click and open it with visual studio code so it is opening now and after opening this we will install some extensions that will be helpful to manage our python programs so we will install our extensions by going here extensions and then we will see what are the python extensions if you want to install you will just write a python and you will see what extensions you have to install so i will install this one python intelligence by microsoft so i will install this so it is installing so now meanwhile let's create our first program so first program will be simple hello world program so before starting it i want to tell you that we have already installed visual studio code when we were using c++ so if you don't know how to install visual studio code and how to run more programs in c++ then you can watch my video that will be showing you here at this right side you can click this i button and you can watch the video that is installing visual studio code and running c and c++ programs so now let me start with my first program that will be hello.py so remember the extension of the python is .py so whenever you will create a program you will write in that that is .py then only the program will run properly so first of all most easy program that is printing hello world so what we will do we will just write print and then in these brackets we will use these two quotes double quotes and in between we will write here hello and then world hello world now we will run this so let's run so you can see it here no semicolon needed so without any semicolon we can run this so you can see it here hello world is written here so python is running properly so now we had seen that how to make a simple program in a python language and now we will start the next thing so now you had seen how to print in python so now let's see the comments in python how we can write comments in python so let me create a new file for that comments.py so we will write some comments like uh, i'm writing here print and then okay and uh, now i will write a comment comment will be like it is not okay so do you think it will print no it will not print why because it is a comment it will have no effect on our overall program of python so that's why we use comments so we use comments to specify that what thing we are doing in our program it will specify it is printing okay so it is specifying that we are printing okay by using this print statement so we are just referring the thing by using this comment so this was a single line comment now if we want to create a multi-line comment then what we will do we will use this three double quotes and in between we will write anything that will be considered as comments let me see it is okay or not if it is not okay then it will give me the error 
if it is okay then it will not give me the error so let me run this so it is running properly it is showing okay and it is not showing anything else yet that means that our multi-line comments is okay so we can write here our multi-line comments also so now we come to know about the comments also so now we are back in our print program and here we will write some things like we are printing a hello world now if we want to print any other line then we will write here print and we will print other line here and now we will run it so what we can see is here it is printing in the another line and what if we want to print it in single line I mean to say that we want to use the print statement two times but we want to print it in the single line hello world and one line should be printed in the single line then what we will do then we will use a comma and then we will write and equal to and then this what it will happen now it will just give one space in the end and it will not make the next line print in the next line it will print it in front of this line so let's run this so now you can see it here hello world and then it is written other line that is written in the single line here so this is the function of this end statement here now what if we want to print the things that we have to write the things in the single line like hello boy we will write this in this single line and after that we want to print the another thing in the next line like what are you doing here so we want to not print this in the single line but we want to print it in the another line this thing what are you doing here then what we will do we will use a backslash n what it is it is escape sequence character that will make it into the new line so let's run this so you can see it here hello boy and then what are you doing here so it has printed it in the next line but it is showing one space so what to do to remove the space we will just write it like this we will just remove that space and now we will run this so hello boy what are you doing here so by using this backslash n you can print the next thing that is after the backslash n to the next line so now we also have another thing like that that is backslash t so let me use that also hello and then what is this so we will print it after giving one space like i am using here slash t then what will happen and without slash t what will happen let me first remove the slash t and now let me run this so you can see it here it is coming along with that no space and if i will use a slash t then there will be one space not one space but more than that I mean to say that at least it will give four spaces like this one two three four so it will give four spaces now i will use this slash t let's say three times more and now let me print this so you can see it here it is given so much of space so by using this backslash t you can give the space inside your text inside your print statement so now you come to know about this thing also and now let's see the another concept of that so what will be the another concept like uh, we will write here print and then we will print something like hello and now we don't want to print anything now we will again print here we will use here comma and then bye and now we will run this so you can see here you can also run your line like this by using one thing in double quotes and then using another things what you have to do in between you have to use this comma so it will be more useful when we will study about the variables so this was all about print statement and how to use that escape sequence characters that is slash n and slash t that are very useful